What's going on guys? Today we're going to be upgrading the 4x4 actuator to the late model electric one. Right now in the 92 that I have, it is a thermal actuator. And what happens is they go bad. They take forever to heat up and engage four-wheel drive in the front diff. And what mine's doing right now is currently popping the fuse every single time I go to engage four-wheel drive high. So instead of just putting the same stock unit in, a lot of people do the upgrade and they're even making an upgrade kit for that, which is Dorman part number 600-600, which lets you use the later model electric versions in your truck. So when you do that, the newer model is a little shorter, so they sell you this little puck in the kit to make up for the difference in the stroke length. And then also all you really have to do is with this harness, you plug this one into your original uh, pigtail and then this goes into the new sensor and you just have to splice in to the brown wire that runs to your transfer case pigtail. All right, so there's the actuator under the truck on the front diff. Let's crack it loose. I think I already did this the other day. A better look at the length differences as you see this spacer perfectly makes up for the size difference everything else is the same same thread body's bigger but it should have the clearance now for some reason the body of this sensor was hitting the differential axle tube so i'm going to turn this diameter down a little bit maybe take off 30 thou just see if it'll clear i don't know why it's hitting but it is i'm guessing maybe it's just a slightly wider aftermarket sensor. All right guys, I'm back. So as it turns out for the 1992 year front diff, I'm assuming it's different than all the others because if you go on the forums, everyone has zero issues. This screws right in. But for me, I had to turn down the OD of the sensor as well as slightly grind the axle tube. And I'm talking maybe a 16th, maybe a little less than a 16th, somewhere between a 16th and a 32nd of material removed. And I also had to square off the corner in here just so the sensor can seat properly against the face of the threads. And that's something no one ever talks about on the forums. Oh, and also this, the perch up here. I don't know if you can see, but I also had to increase the radius of that perch with the grinder just to make this sensor fit in this uh, thread. Now, I looked all online and the only other mention I saw of this was on a random Amazon review, also for a 1992 K2500. So I'm thinking the axle tube is just a little beefier for this year or something. There was some weird little change that was either just for the 92 or the surrounding years. I think I even saw a 93 review and they didn't have any issues. So if you do have a 92, Expect to remove material from the sensor as well as from the axle itself. I didn't remove much, so I'm not worried about structural integrity at all. I mean, that tube has to be at least a quarter inch thick and I barely removed anything. So I think we're good on that front, but it's just the weirdness of how no one online mentions this except one random Amazon review. And he said he just ground down the sensor body, but I can't imagine grinding down any more because I'm already exposing some of the threads or the inserts for the threads on the sensor so i didn't want to take too much more off of this otherwise it's going to just split open so it should work not ideal by any means but that's what i had to do all right so we're fully installed i'm going to walk you through the wiring because there's a couple questions online about it that a lot of people never get clearances for so that's the harness plugging into the new sensor goes over the axle tube and then it meets up with the original harness from the car 
it connects there and then it runs up here above the starter and if you look carefully I don't know if you can see it there's a little channel for harness to pass through goes up over the transmission to the driver's side comes right there along the linkage for the four-wheel drive and now here is your transfer case your front axle here or your front drive shaft there if you look above if you could see it Let's see if i could point to it I'm tapping it with the flashlight that is your transfer case switch and then the brown wire coming off of that is what you splice the brown wire from the new harness into so my splice is somewhere in there i kind of tucked it up but all it does is it just taps into that brown wire and that's all you have to do for the wiring it's a pretty simple kit i zip tied it all out of the way so it doesn't get caught in the linkage or the drive shaft 